I don't want to die! Silence! Your words are meaningless here. It will pay the debt our king demands. Your sacrifice will lift his curse from our land. General Barato! Forgive me, my lord. The king demands your urgent presence. Did God smile on you? For now. Take this one back to herself. I'll deal with him later. You're in luck, Gutian. Luck? No. No luck for these dogs. General, we should leave this place. The king, his madness threatens to swallow us all. This temple is cursed. I'd rather die in this cursed house than perish to the plague and famine out there. We have our orders, Captain. The moon god sent you to destroy my kingdom. I know it, girl. I see everything. Look around you. Is this hole not famous enough for my mistake? Do the gods not bask in its glory? The Gutians are coming, General. The moon god sends an army to destroy us. I shall muster our forces immediately. Good. And what news from below? There are hundreds of prisoners, my king. Their sacrifice will take time. Time is no longer in our hands. No matter. The blood of this army will nourish the sands. The sacrifice will be fulfilled. Starting with this one. Tell me, General. Does she remind you of anyone? My king? Do you not see a hint of your own daughter in her? What age would she have been now? Eighteen. Eighteen? Hmm. What a tragedy this plague has been. Kill her! My king? Would it not be wise to keep the girl alive? She's an anem scout. We could learn the Gutian's plans. No. Every drop of blood brings us closer to salvation. She must die. <laughs> <laughs>
Gods give me strength. to call for forgiveness, but the gods don't listen. And now he too is silent. Even my daughter's death couldn't wake me to the truth. I followed a fool into the abyss. Don't let his ruin become ours. This is your temple. What can we do? There is a way out through the catacomb. You think I should trust you? You have no choice. I'll tell you. in vain for a mad king.
are cursed by our own actions. Why did your king grade the temple? Same story that history has taught us. For gold, for glory, for greed. Help me with this. <clears throat> you first. We're safe down here. You first. What is this that adorns you? The history of Gotiam. You are guardians fought hard to destroy our people. But mark my words, our story has just begun. How do we get out of here alive? The enemy of my enemy... ...is a friend. We help each other. Always hope. What was that? Over here. Stand together. No! If we both run, then we both die. Ready your sword. on the edge of an abyss. Your survival depends on the choices you make. They will be as a compass guiding you through the unknown. 
Will you find the path to salvation or be lost in the darkness? Let me speak plainly. You're about to make some difficult decisions. Decisions that will affect the lives of others. How those decisions play out will become clear over time. I expect you're wondering who I am and where you are. I am the curator, the custodian of tales. My purpose is to keep a record of everything you do, every decision or mistake you make. This is my repository. Filled with untold stories. Stories about friends and enemies. Loyalty and betrayal. Life. And death. Understand that I am not here to help you. Although I have been known to bend the rules from time to time. To descend into the unknown alone is extremely brave. Or extremely foolish. Perhaps there is more to you than meets the eye. Let me give you a few words of advice. Throughout the story you will encounter certain pictures. Pictures which allude to possible outcomes. I suggest you pay attention to their meaning. Could foreshadow a future best avoided. But alas, the sands of time have run out for us. We'll meet again soon to see how you fare. Or fail. Particularly. Welcome to Camp Slayer. You're early. Is my briefing room prepped? Techs are ready for your presentation. As soon as we get word from the CEO, we're good to go. You should read this. Didn't you hear? There's a new king in the castle. Looks that way. You are? Careful, Clarice. That's valuable research. Yes, sirree. Dr. Stokes, at your service. First Lieutenant Jason Kolchak. Wow. The briefing room? Yo, is this much of a dick? Ha. Huh. So many dick levels. This is like a two. Wait till he turns it up to 11. What's up, Marine? Can't you keep up? Could be our last time together, Rachel. After what happened at the checkpoint, uh, I thought I was done. These last few weeks, you've you've lifted me up. I don't know where I'd be without you. Rachel King. Colonel King has arrived on base, ma'am. He's en route to the briefing room. I'll be there in five. Fuck, it's him. 
It's early. Your husband, you mean? Don't you think it's about time you came clean? Put your clothes back on. Straighten up. Hey, Rachel. Are you going to tell him about us or what? You and Eric have been apart for a year. Whatever you had, it, it's got to be over. Come on. Maybe I just don't think this is the right time. That's bullshit. There's never a right time. Soon, Nick. I promise. Soon. I'll see you at the briefing. Shit. You have to excuse the noise and disorder. We're just getting the base set up. Hmm. Blows my mind. Only a few weeks ago, Saddam was living it up in here. <laughs> down down in candy bars while some poor bastard clipped his toenail. Nice image. Wow. If only you could see the state of this place now. <laughs> Got the CIA. We got the Army, the Marines, DIA, the Air Force. Hey, everyone's invited. Everyone wants a piece of history. God bless America. I see you, old man. Keep busting out those reps. Hey, you come join me. Maybe I'll teach you a thing or two. Later. We have company. Yeah. Maybe Miss here would like to watch me get my sweat on, huh? You wanna spot me, little lady? I can see you just fine from here, thanks. Ignore Corporal Merwin. He likes social skills. Uh, I guess every unit has its resident jackass. Sergeant Kay. This is Lieutenant Colonel Kane. Just taking him down to the briefing room. Yeah, gotta go get prepped. I'll see you in there, Marine. So what's his malfunction? Nick ain't been himself lately. We got caught up in a shooting a few weeks back. Civilian ate a bullet. Nick took it hard. Is he combat ready? He's a big boy, sir. He's ready. Damn, Joey, they got you sitting behind a desk? You want me to make a call? Nah, I'm all good. People who sit behind desks don't tend to catch so many bullets, you know? So this must be uh, the one and only satellite guy. Lieutenant Colonel Eric King. And if I'm not mistaken, Lance Corporal, that makes me your commanding officer. <laughs> shit me, right? Crap, he's not shitting me. Give the colonel full sight access. Sir. If I were you, I wouldn't get too comfortable behind that desk. I'm telling you, when the queen bitch finds out about this, she's gonna flip her shit. That's my wife you're talking about. I had no idea, I'm sorry. Nice work, Hotshot. Sir, I'm so sorry. Rachel never said she was married. We've been working apart this last year. So oh, she's the queen bitch now. She's gone up in the world. If it helps, we like to think of it as a term of endearment.
Brett, let's get you set up. I hope the bandwidth can cope with the data. I'll leave the techie stuff to you. And I'll leave the heavy lifting to you. Well, we got a deal, lady. What is this place, anyway? Looks like an old ballroom. Uh, that's exactly what it is. I guess Shadam liked to get down on the dance floor. I think if his dance partner stepped on his foot, it'd be an instant off with her head. <laughs> well, it wouldn't surprise me. Maybe when we're done, I'll let you spin me around a little. As long as you don't step on my foot. Colonel King. Mrs. King. Eric, this is my team. And if you want to brief them, you clear it with me first. This is my team now. What are you talking about? I have direct orders from CENTCOM to assume command of your task force. Oh, shh. Are you serious? Have you known me to be any other way? Lieutenant Kolchak, if you'd be so kind. This is from Sox Central. It confirms that Lieutenant Colonel King has assumed control of this operation. I'm gonna need access to your network. Who the hell are you? This is Dr. Stokes. I've given her full clearance. I bet you have. Okay. So I'll go figure it out for myself. Dr. Stokes, please prepare the presentation. You found something? What the fuck is that? Modern art or something? This is footage from the highly classified Kalis program. That's supposed to mean something to me. It's a thermal satellite system that I personally pioneered. Oh, well, I'm impressed. Please, pioneer away. You behave like this in all your briefings, Corporal? Boys are just eager to catch a break, sir. No harm meant. Very well. Satellite sweeps of the war zone have uncovered what appears to be an underground storage facility. This will, of course, require further investigation, but I strongly suspect it's where Saddam's chemical weapons are hidden. We got you, you son of a bitch. CENTCOM has given the green light to raid the facility and seize any weapons on site. Hostilities may be over, but there are holdout groups of Republican Guard all over the country. They could deploy those weapons at any time, so we need to move fast. The Army is giving us a ride out there in their helos. On arrival, Lieutenant Kolchak will lead the raid on the facility. Once it's secured, we'll carry out a full weapons inspection. Now listen up. There's been a change of leadership, but Rachel's operational expertise and local knowledge is just as valuable as ever. She'll be flying with us, and I want you all to show her the same respect. Any questions? What the fuck are we waiting for? I'm ready. It's tribal territory out there, Colonel. Make no mistake, those people are feral. I take it we're getting their support? Nah, too many birds can bring them down on us. We move fast in, fast out. Yeah, that's pretty much what your mama said to me. Hey, careful, boy. If I didn't pull out so fast, it could have been your papi. <laughs> All right, that's enough, Merwin. Sir, what's your call? I'll put in a request for air support to be on standby. Our birds can fly low under the radar. The site is in the Zagros Mountains, so we'll have plenty of ground cover. We go dark until weapons are secured. If we don't break radio sounds within 24 hours, CENTCOM will mount a rescue operation. A lot of shit can go down in 24 hours. I'll quit being a bitch. I'm just saying, that's all. This is why we went to war. This is what gets us out of bed every morning. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, this is how we stop Saddam from using these weapons. 
Be ready in one hour. Dismissed. Clarice, help me set up the equipment. I'm on it. I don't know, man. This don't feel right. I'm getting this tingle down the back of my neck. Oh, sweetie. Look, good rub down will sort that right out, huh? I'm serious. I got a real bad feeling about this. That's what you get from spending too much time with Eric. Is there anything you can do? I'm gonna download the latest satellite data. You can have some alone time with him. Thank you, Clarice. Eric, we need to talk. There's something I have to tell you. You should know. It wasn't my decision to take over your operation. Rach, this is it. Everything I've worked on these past years, it's ready. This is the big break we've been waiting for. This isn't about us, Eric. I just want things to go back to the way they were. How we left it, things weren't so great between us. Worse. A lot worse. <sighs> Nothing has changed, Eric. You know that. You and I, there is no you and I. It's over. Please, Rach. Don't say that. You're not wearing your wedding ring. <clears throat> hey, be careful with that. Oh, shit. Sorry. What you got in that box of tricks anyway? fuck is that? Ultraviolet light. We use it to sweep for explosives. Let me have a go. No. How much longer for that download, Clarice? I need it ASAP. It's five minutes ASAP enough for you? Downloading data now. Good. I'll check the satellite maps. Not the greatest bandwidth. We work with what we have. Can you sign this 1348? Huh? Equipment release form. Can you... Oh, sure. Check all equipment, then check it again. Yeah, I hear you. What the hell do we need this crap for? We need to be mobile. We need to be prepared. The facility is underground, possibly under construction. It's safer this way. Now you want me to feel safe? You give me some more shooters. So, you're my technician. I've heard about you. I should fucking hope so. I'm here to keep our gear in check. And if any Iraqis pop their heads up, I'll take them clean fucking off. You seem pretty confident, Corporal. If you need any assistance with the climbing gear, I'm here to help. Sure, I'll manage, Colonel. Climbing gear. Fucking pencil pusher. Think we'll bag Chemical Ali at this facility? If he's in the vicinity, we'll get him. <laughs> that almost makes it worth the risk. Almost. Well, you know, I'd still rather be sitting behind a desk. If shit hits the fan, at least we can rely on air support to dig us out. I'm sure it won't come down to that. You seem confident. You seem surprised.
this what I think it is? WP, sir. White phosphorus? It's just for pop and smoke, that's all. These are only to be used for cover. Understood? Understood. After all, Saddam is the one who's breaking weapons conventions, not us. Downloads complete. Let's get to the helos. What? What? You want to ask me something? I can tell by that look on your face. What do you think I am? I take it you're talking about the skipper? He's a hard ass and he wants us to know it. But I ain't bothered by that. I like it, actually. Guy's a corn cob off his ass. But we're heading, believe me. We're gonna need someone tough in control. Zane, and a gate. Zane? Quays, are we?
زين زين تاني يا هبل الو آه الو انا سليم 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 جاركون ابو زين طبعا رجعت ايوه رجعت هو زين مع مع هو زين مع ابنك؟ طارق ايوه طارق هما مع بعض راحوا ياخدوا الاتوبيس بقالهم ساعة كله بخير؟ لا لا كله تمام اصل كان عيد ميلاده وانا جبت له هدية هدية كويسة اه لما يرجع ابعتهولي حالا ما اقدرش اقول امتى هيجي انت عارف الولاد اي وقت ابعته لي لو سمحت طبعا لا 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 يا ديني مش دلوقتي كابتن بصري اهلا انا مناسب لازم اتحرك على طول انت بتقول ايه سعادتك؟ العدو جاي يا سليم العدو جاي علينا دلوقتي العدو ايه يا فندم الحرب خلصت خلاص وخسرنا لا ده كلام فارغ محدش السل العدو جاي ودي ارضنا واحنا لازم نتعرب ليها شايفين هم مطلوب تاكيد يلا شوف جايين علينا بقول لك احنا محتاجين كل راجل في مكانه لاحسن طايرتهم توصل عندنا ما اقدرش اعمل ده يا فندم ابني محتاجني ده أمر يا جندي مش طلب ده واجب عليك فهمت هرجع البيت قريب خلاص يا دار دي آخر مهمة Coming in fast. Hey, Merwin. What's your mama and the Bermuda Triangle have in common? Why are you fucking it like? They both swallow Marines. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good, boy. Hey, look. Your mama's so nasty. I called her for phone sex, and I got a fucking ear infection. Well, damn. How long have you been sitting on that one? Oh, yeah, you like that? I got a shit ton more of those bad boys lined up. Yeah, that's what your mama said. You two want to cut the bullshit and focus on the mission? Hey, only one place I let a woman boss me around like that, all right? And that's between the sheets. I'm surprised your mom lets women into your bedroom. Don't want her getting jealous now. Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> hey, the fuck y'all laughing at? Sergeant Kenny, I need you to establish contact with the AWACS CP on four-hour intervals. Sergeant K, are you with me? Yeah, I got it. Contact CP every four hours. Hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm straight. What's going on in there? 
Just some shit I gotta work through, man. It's all good. I'm chill. So tell me what's up. Remember I told you I had something with uh, one of the Johns on base? Shit, Nicky, that's about a girl? Never did tell me who it was. You're fucking with me. Yeah. Fuck is about right. Holy shit, Marine. You gotta keep a lid on that with the colonel around, you hear? Five by five, sir. Semper Fi. Semper Fi. Semper Fi? What's that? Some kind of Boy Scout thing? It's a Marine thing. It means always loyal. So what, it's supposed to be lucky? Marines have a boatload of superstitions. Hit me with one. All right, check it out. They say to never look back when you're disembarking the helo. Otherwise, you curse the whole team. That's got to be about the stupidest thing I have ever heard. Yeah, well, maybe. But as I see it, why take a chance? Eyes forward at all times. You look backwards in a war zone. It's no wonder you get your ass shot off. Good to go, Marines. It's what we were sent here to do, and may God be my witness, we're gonna succeed. Amen to that, brother. Hoorah! 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 الخنازير بيطيروا هيهبط قالوا نفسكم يا American, El Asakir, El American, go! Sir, we've been made. Awaiting orders. Bend out and hold fire. We're gonna sigh out to this shit. إحنا الأمريكان. إحنا الجيش الأمريكاني. is secured. Prisoners are playing ball. Roger. Get Corporal Merwin to pop yellow smoke at the LZ and bring in the Colonel. This rig's a bust. These people are not the enemy, they're just shepherds. Lieutenant Kolchak, set rep if you will. No shots fired, sir. No casualties. Farm is secure and we're processing captives. Captives? Have you located an entrance to the underground silo? Negative, sir. If there is one, it's well camouflaged. If there is one. What does that mean, Lieutenant? 
Colonel, I don't think these men are hostile. I'm starting to think they're just shepherds. Are you sure? Could it be a cover? He may be right. If these are civilians, Lieutenant Kolchak made the right call to not go in guns blazing. That went smoothly. You think? You got the place locked down tighter than the birds. Do not finish that sentence, Corporal. Are they ready for questioning? Yeah, just don't ask them any tough physics questions. Let's go. Stay sharp. If anyone so much as raises an eyebrow, I want to know about it. Copy that. I don't know about you guys, but something doesn't feel right about this place. Oh, yeah? So is that this, uh, women's intuition I keep hearing about? Yeah, you want to find out what happens when you piss it off? Stay still. I'm just gonna pat you down. السلام عليكم يا أخي. لازم أسأل السؤال ولازم تقول الحقيقة. فين مدخل مخزن السلاح؟ Any orders, ma'am? Stand by. I've got this. هسألك مرة ثانية. فين مكان المخزن؟ What the hell is that? Some kind of effigy. Possibly pagan. Ada. Hatarafu Rayu. Fuck you and your voodoo shit. Kefir. You gave this place the all clear. Do your goddamn jobs. Gotta admit, that was pretty fucking hardcore. Tell me where the silo is. This man was armed, ma'am. Everyone in this country is armed. I want to apologize. We should have been more alert back there. Won't happen again. Seriously, though, some damn good shooting. I owe you one. This is? دي بندقية كبيرة قوي يا أخ أكتر من اللي أنت محتاجه للغنم فين مدخل المخزن؟ Stand down, Lieutenant. The only language these people understand. I've got this under control. Are there any more captives? Yeah, in the other hut. Follow me. I'll go now, and then I'll talk. Keep a firm eye on this one. Launchy Marines to search the whole farm. I mean every inch of it. Look under every bed, shed, and outhouse. The entrance to the silo is close by. Go find it. There ain't shit here. You got something to say, Sergeant? Look at the ground. What do you see? Jack shit. There was a silo, where's all the tracks? Nah. Man, this is a fishing expedition. His precious Kalis has got it all wrong. We follow orders, Sergeant. The search is far from over. Aye, sir. أنا 
بشخص الحكومة الأمريكية أنت في موقف صعب جدا مهم أنك تقول الحقيقة فين مدخل المغزى That's heroin. It just keeps getting better by the minute. These people are nothing but common crooks. What the fuck was Eric thinking? I want this place turned inside out. like ticks. We're closing in. We gotta get to Joe. Yeah, fuck you too. Let's burn fuckers out with WB. You can't use phosphorus against people. Oh, come on, you rather us hold hands and sing kumbaya around the fucking campfire? Shut the fuck up for a second and let me think. What's to think about, huh? We're getting massacred. Permission to use WB! Burn him out! Go <laughs> flank him! Give me some cover and get Joey out of there! Nick. Bullshit. Ah. I know you're hurting, but you're not fucking dying. And still, calm down. Your flesh when it's a paper cut. Just hold still. Fire. Say it, Brainwood. This is dropkick. Silence lifted. Can someone give me a sit rep on the contact? Over. Dropkick, this is Killjoy 2. We are under fire and going down. Targets have advanced into the LZ. <sighs> this getting any worse?
get down on the floor, I swear I'll put a fucking hole through you. Fuck! Doesn't anyone speak English anymore? You better not miss. No more killing. Jason! Jason! I'm close, man! I'm coming! this place. green earth have we landed. We need to get back topside, regroup with the rest of the squad, and signal for medivac. This place ain't no weapon silo, but it's sure as fuck crawling with Iraqis. Nick? Sergeant Kate, pull yourself together. Eyes wide. I saw something. What do you mean, saw something? I mean, it wasn't human. In a tunnel. <sighs> Should have never gotten up that helo. I fucking knew it. I knew you weren't ready for this. I swear to God, do not get God involved in this bullshit. Now, I don't want to hear another fucking word. You pull your shit together right fucking now before you get us both killed. You gotta believe me. No, you believe this, Sergeant. You didn't see shit. We need to get out of here right now. You ever seen anything like this? What the hell is this place? Grass. 
lifelong history at school. Tell me you don't feel it. What, Nick? Feel what exactly? I don't know, some. I don't feel shit. You sure about that? <clears throat> oh. This thing is heavier than it looks. Give me a head. I'm gonna need some more muscle. I'm just give him Jim again. <clears throat> That's Merle. Jesus, I'm mm. trying. Will you stop squirming around? Uh, uh, it's bad. It's bleeding out. We have to cut him down right now. Hold tight, buddy. We got you. Uh, Nick, uh, I need you here. Uh, cut the wires. Uh, oh, he's fucked. He's so fucked. You don't think I can hear you? You're gonna pull through, brother. Suck it up. There's no feet in my back. Grab it. We're gonna pump you up, okay? Hurry the hell up! We got this. You keep lookout. Fuck! Look out for what? Jesus, who the hell loaded these packs? What the fuck just happened? Maurice? أنا الملازم سليم عثمان بكل الجنود أنتوا فين؟ حول أنتوا فين؟ هو بتاعنا ماشي 
كابتن دار قادر تسمعني عندي رساله حول كابتن زفت دار اذا قادر تسمعني انا مش عارف في 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 كهف بحاول اخرج حول اخس آه. انا كان عندي مشاريع النهارده استحمى اسمع موسيقى انت فلقت من ادبني بس لا دق على باب انا لا لما كان جايين لما كان جايين بص احنا فين دلوقتي المهم انا عارف انا فين في حد موجود هنا في حد هناك شوف ده مين هناك؟
is about to come down. Are you okay? Are you hurt? I'm good. Did you see Sergeant K? Cold check? Last I saw, they were together. I tried. Something's interfering with the signal. Might could be another way out. I don't know. It's our only option. Let's move. Now! <clears throat> Carabiners, quick draws, rope, light. Shit. Okay. All good? All good. Let's do it. Well, that's a steep drop to nowhere. We've got rope. Hey, look, there's an airflow. I say we climb. So when did you start smoking? Excuse me? The lighter. Uh, it's nothing. Just something I picked up back at base. Are you ready? Are you? This place doesn't look much like a weapon silo to me. If there's nothing down here, then why were we attacked? There's a war on. People tend to shoot each other. I guess we could classify this as quality time. You and I always did have a different view on quality time. Doesn't this remind you of old times, Rach? You mean the sense of feeling lost? Ancient. Well, that's cuneiform. Sumerian, maybe? What is this place? You're quite the expert on history. Didn't realize. Maybe you don't know me as well as you think. Seems stable. Yeah, it looks fine.
got a certain coal under pressure. What do you think this place is? Hard to say. These carvings look religious. I think we may be in a temple. Pazuzu. Pazuzu who? Pazuzu. Do you not watch horror movies? You should know the answer to that. It's a Sumerian demon. It's something to do with plagues, I think. Plagues and demons, huh? Great. Great, that's all we need. Think we can move it? Looks jammed pretty tight. What is it? You didn't hear that? I didn't hear anything. I thought I heard something down there. Even in ruins, this place is still something special. I wonder what happened here. That's gunfire. Where's it coming from? <gasps> we should move. Can you make anything out? That's... it's deep. That looks safe to you? It's our only option. Get the rope. We're going down. Unbelievable. We're not the first ones here. Damn it. All this crap must be what Kayla's detected. How could you have gotten it so wrong? You look around you. You went through all this shit for what? Like a few barrels and crates? I'll learn from this. I'll go back and work twice as hard to rewrite the program. Kalos will be stronger than ever. You don't think I can do it? You don't believe in me? There's no use in dwelling on it. We need to focus on the task ahead and find a way out of this place. The hell is that? Subsidence? From the aftershocks? This looks like archaeological gear. Somebody was studying this ruin. Hey, we could use those lamps. The light could guide the Marines to us. Do you think that still works? <laughs> It'll work. Just needs gas. We need to find some. Wherever you are, Nick, I hope you're safe. Sorry? Did you say something? No, nothing. Eric, check this out. Why would there be a machine gun here? It's a World War II model. Ties in with the time the archaeologists were here. What the fuck happened here?
I hope we can get this thing started. Do you think CENTCOM is aware of our situation? I'm hoping the pilots got word back. If any of them survive, that is. Who could they have been up against? I've been cataloging these pieces somewhere. Fuck, that's a hell of a lot of fireworks. All call signs, this is King. Does anyone copy over? September the 24th, 1945. When Lady Bradshaw summons you, you go. Mary and I were bound for our honeymoon, but the chance to dine with one of Britain's finest antiquarians was too great for us to miss. When we met, Bradshaw wore a brooch that caught Mary's eye. A Sumerian relic recovered from a dig site in the Hashemite Kingdom of Iraq. After dinner, she showed us another find from the same site, a gold cuneiform tablet. She called it the final puzzle piece in her life's work, a map that pinpoints the tomb of Alexander the Great. If she's right, the tomb lies somewhere on the border of Iraq. Lady Bradshaw wants us to lead her expedition. I realize now that our honeymoon will take place in a dusty dig site in the Zagros Mountains. This place is starting to make me feel a little uneasy. What happened to these guys? temple. It was built to appease the gods. We need to get these lights running ASAP. I can't see shit.
I'll take that, thank you. This is king to all call signs. Are you receiving? Over. Give me a hand with these cans. So tell me I had a little luck. <sighs> How's the lake holding up? Lake? Oh, you mean the prosthesis. I lost my leg back on the highway. Don't. I still feel guilty. I didn't make it easy on you, Rage. I know that. You weren't to blame for that crash. Mom, let's get to work. Shine a light on the tank. Fuel tube's worn loose. The damn valve is leaking. Can it be fixed? We have to secure the tube before starting the generator. There's gotta be something here to fix it. You got it? I've got it. Once you said back at the base, you were wrong. Doesn't sound like me. You said nothing had changed between us. But I've changed. All that time spent away from each other. I couldn't stop thinking of you. Don't you feel the same way? Even a little? I meant what I said. It was over between us the minute that truck hit my car. Nothing has changed. It's not how it feels from my side. It's definitely how it feels from mine. Hold the fuel pipe. It's done. Give me a hand with this panel. <clears throat> Look at the state of these. They're shot. You think we could do this with a little less attitude? I'm trying to work. Why do we leave things like this? I tried. But you made it so hard for me to stay should have stuck together. I don't think either of us expected to be out of each other's lives for so long. The past year or so, my head's been buried in Kalis, and I was blind to anything else. Sounds less like an apology and more like an excuse. It's not either, it's the truth. Bullshit. You had no idea that Kalis would even work. Rach. Say what's on your mind. I've missed you, Rach. Like you wouldn't believe. Back then, I don't know, things seemed confused, but now, it just seems simpler. It's the past, Eric. We have to put it behind us and look towards the future. Otherwise, we're just going around in circles. I'm happy to look to that future.
we have power. There was a way in for these people. There's a way out for us. Let's take a look around. the rest of the squad are doing? They're tough. Each and every one of them. They'll muscle through it. Maybe climbing out of the cavern back there would have been the smarter move. Locals were spooked by these mountains. Can't say I blame them. Take a look at this. You think it still works? Let's find out, shall we? The tape is all tangled up. It's fine, I can fix that. So when did you stop wearing your wedding ring? When did you stop wearing yours? I didn't. Always close to my heart. Stop wearing it the day I left. I've moved on, Eric. Have you forgotten what this ring means to me? But maybe you're right. Maybe it's too late. You need to let go here. Someone else now. I knew it. The bones of this temple are drenched in blood. 
We have set foot on an uncharted shore and roused something ancient and wicked. A blasphemy that comes in indescribable shapes and forms. For eons we lived as children in this world, unaware of the horrors that slumber beneath our feet. Now we have blindly thrown open the gates to madness. I fear we've taken but I must do what I must. We must seal this place for eternity, to all mankind. Mary, I'm sorry. not supposed to play out like this. Any call signs? This is King. Contact, contact. Taking fire. Just give him a copy. Over. That's Rachel. King, this is Mailman 2 in actual. Say again. Over. King, this is Mailman 2 in actual. How copy? Over. Damn it. Simple this goddamn place. Look at that serious. That looks decades old. That's all we have. Can you see him? Yeah, he's coming.
nightmare have these luckless souls fallen into? Poor Rachel has been lost to the darkness. What of Jason and Nick, brothers in arms, but are they really as close as they appear? Or will it be a case of each man for himself? Let's not forget that they've already lost Corporal Merwin to the dark, and the night is still young. Which brings us to Salim. He seems level-headed, an almost reluctant soldier. An unwelcome fate now awaits our survivors, trapped beneath the earth, swallowed by the void. One by one, their lights will be snuffed out. Unless you can find the means to save them. It's not my place to concern myself with the affairs of others, but it does keep things interesting. I can offer you some words of advice, as long as you are willing to keep this strictly between ourselves. A prudent choice, all things considered. Long ago, I met a blind poet who impressed upon me these wise words. Long is the way and hard that out of hell leads up to light. That's all for now. Where's Rachel? Where is she? Rachel! What happened to Rachel? We, we were ambushed by the enemy. They opened fire on us. And Rachel. She fell. I held on. I held out as long as I could. Rachel! We gotta move. Colonel, we're sitting ducks. We need to fall back now. Over there. Let's go! Oh. Look at that. To be here. Right now, Colonel, the Iraqis are the least of our problems. They're not following. This is Mailman 21 Actual to all call signs. How copy? Over. Joey, report in. Over. Joey's dead. The fuck you talking about? The Iraqis tore right through him. He died in my fucking arms. Oh, no, not Joy. The hell are we gonna get out of this? We gotta lock this place down. Form a defense perimeter and buy ourselves some goddamn breathing space. Lieutenant, what did you mean when you said the Iraqis are the least of our worries? You believe in God? Absolutely not. We'll start believing. We are under attack by... I don't know what. And you wouldn't believe me even if I tried. Hell, <laughs> I don't believe in those there. Monsters. Monsters? Come on, you're jumping at shadows. Sir, with all due respect... Lieutenant, we're trapped down here with an enemy Iraqi, maybe more. Whatever you think you've seen, it's bullshit. These statues. Nick! Take a mental picture and snap the fuck out of it. What is this place? It's not the silos, that's for sure. 
The mission's a bust. I can fix this. The satellite. Look over the data to improve the algorithm. They're clearly teething problems. Oh, fuck your satellite. Good men have died. Clarice is gone. Your wife is dead, Eric. You led us on a suicide mission. Hey, I'm still in command here. You'd better remember your rank, Lieutenant. I'll get us out of here. We should move on. Stay and guard the entrance. Go check it out. This is Saddam's chemical weapon silo, huh? Run for the fucking hills. We're all doomed. So much for Eric's pioneering thermal satellite system. Eric's gonna have some pretty tough questions to answer. I wouldn't like to be in those shoes. There's the generator. Let's go take a look. Need a hand here? I'm on it. Someone's taking a serious dislike to this thing. Sabotage. Looks it. Watch my back. Stop fucking around, hurry up. Does it look like I'm fucking around? Good job, Sergeant. Stay alert. Dropkick, this is Mailman 2-1 Actual. We're heading deeper, over. Acknowledged. You be careful in there. Dropkick out. Cable split. Let's see what they lead to. This way. Fuck. Watch your step. There's a tripwire. Clear. It looks simple enough. Counter explosion? Nah. Just need to cut the trigger. Gotta be the guy who shot at Eric. Motherfuckers hunting us. Dropkick, this is Mailman 21 Actual. Do you copy? Over. Dropkick receiving. How's it going out there, Kolchak? Your friend sprung an IED on us. We're good. You'll want to keep your eyes open in case he's left any more love notes. Over. Copy that. Moving up. Dropkick out. He's moving up. Shame you warned him about the tripwire. October the 21st, 1946. Crow was the first to break into the tomb, an honor he shared with Bessie, that damned machine gun of his. It was a beast of a weapon, but it seemed to comfort the fellaheen doing the digging. 
This place has lain undisturbed for centuries. It is not the tomb of Alexander the Great, but a temple of an even older god-king, the Akkadian despot, Naram Sin. We have been mistaken, but Lady Bradshaw still declares it a find for the ages, a discovery that will write our names in the annals of history. Looking out at this sceptered hall, I have no reason to doubt her. Could be waiting for us down there. Shh. Listen. Is that Joey? He's alive. It's not possible. You heard him just now. It can't be. That is definitely him. It's this fucking place, Jason. I'm telling you, I saw him die. All due respect, buddy. You're not your usual self. Can't know for sure. It's a trap. We don't know that. We don't leave men behind. Semper Fi. Semper Fi. Hey, somebody want to tell me what's going on here? We heard Joey through the tunnel. We think we heard Joey. It was him, all right. Gonna rescue him. Let me remind you that I make the decisions. I'll lead the way. Safer if you stay here just in case. Let Nick and I handle it. I'll wait here in case the other units show up.
them again. Shams. Still here, Joey? This is Mailman 21 Actual. Joey, do you hear me? How copy? Over. It's Joey's. He's in bad shape. We gotta move fast. Weapons. Don't leave anything to chance. How deep is that damn hole? This is fresh. That's solid fucking rock. You think these things got through it? I don't really want to stick around and find out. He's hit bad. Not much we can be sure of. Something really fucking nasty went down here. now. Eyes wide. Stay frosty.
7th of December, 1946. Our finds have been so spectacular, I couldn't resist breaking out the champagne. As I entered the survey tent to pour a glass for Mary, I realized something was awry. She'd found Bradshaw's crate of dynamite. I tried to calm her, but she worked up a full head of steam, sounding off about the risks of using explosives at a dig site. She was right, of course. I feel terrible for hiding it from her. Just then, Crow arrived and picked up the dynamite. When Mary ordered him to put it down, he looked her boldly in the eye and said they'd found something below. What the hell did they find down there? Should have never come here. He's close. This is so fucked up. Stay focused. Don't let this place fuck with you. Check your sight lines. You may not be alone. Slow it down. Somewhere right here. Mailman 3 to Mailman 2, 1 Actual. Come in, Lieutenant, over. This is Mailman 3 to Mailman 2, 1 Actual. Come in, Lieutenant, over. No. Get through this, but only together. 
Dar... They react to sound like bats. They hear you. They hunt you. Seen their weakness, they burn in sunlight. Like any living being, they can be killed. Stake through the heart. Your bullets will only slow them down. Even a truck falling on them just makes them angry. We do this together. Okay. We can kill it. You move into a flanking position and get its attention. I will do the rest. I'm ready. Let's do it. I've seen ugly in my life, but never that ugly. What the fuck are we up against? Those things are everywhere. Never before have I ever seen anything so vicious. <laughs> what do you think those things are? You know what? I, I don't know. I didn't think to ask. How about you? I don't know what they are. I, I shouldn't be here. I should be home with my son. I hear you. Family's everything. I should have never come here. It's his birthday today. Oh, man. You really shouldn't be here. How? Old enough to think he's a man. And he's only still a boy. He just turned 18. Whoa. <laughs> Big day. Big day. Let me tell you. Best present you can give him is to make sure you get home today. The only thing keeping me going. Well, if we're in hell, 
I guess you should at least know my name. Nick K, Sergeant. Selimos, man. Lieutenant. Herochi on me. Shukran, you khuya. It's mailman two and actual, it's mailman three. How copy over? Hey, solid copy, LT. I see your light. Keep moving forward. I'm just ahead. Over. I'm coming to get you. Your friends better not do anything dumb. Find cover. Go. Go. Shit, Nick. You wax this thing all by yourself? Good, Nick. Yeah, all good. This plan's a bust. Whatever the hell happened to Joey, he's gone. And there are fuck knows how many of those things out there. I say we pull back to the temple and regroup. I think that's the best plan I heard all day. My name is Lieutenant Colonel Eric King of the United States Air Force. I'm a chief nuclear engineer of the Iraq Survey Group, tasked with locating hidden chemical weapons. Our mission has uncovered something unexpected. I will now begin an autopsy of an unidentified life form. Slowed him down. Long enough to spot them on the cameras. We should reset that chirp wire. Give me a hand. We've been in some fucked up situations before. Never as fucked as this. If I gotta fight these things, there's no one else I would want by my side. You know I always got your back, buddy. Come with me. What's up? Whatever it is that's on your mind, just spit it out. Does Eric know about you and Rachel? Don't know, don't care. Cut the bullshit, Nick. I know you and I know you care. What do you think's gonna happen when Eric finds out you've been sleeping with his wife? Wife? You think what they had resembled a marriage? No. That shit was over way before I was on the scene. Anyway, if he does know, 
He's playing his cards pretty damn close to his chest. You make sure that Eric does not find out. Last thing we need is more fucking drama down here. I have in this conversation. Well, he can't know. It'll break him. He's still hurting bad about what happened to Rachel. And you don't think that I am? This is something else. You don't think? I don't know how many places like this we've bombed without a second thought. These relics are better off in the dust. What's your problem? These people didn't ask for this war. Why are you defending the enemy, Sergeant? You and me both know they're not all our enemies. Fuck, Jason. This about the girl at the checkpoint? Shit, Nick. How many times? We thought she had a bomb. It was just a bag of groceries. We fucked up. That girl's death is getting under your skin, buddy. Yes. As a matter of fact, it is. Isn't it getting under yours? Mailman 2-1 Actual, this is Dropkick. Request update. Over. Do an actual receiving. Cameras are green and the holes have been demolished. Over. Good work, Lieutenant. Treat through the eastern corridor and be on your guard. Over. I hear you. Over now. At approximation, the creature is eight feet tall, bipedal, winged. Wing webbing appears to be affixed to its forelimbs and to the digits of its hands. Epidermis looks to be smothered in some sort of excretion. Underneath it is diseased almost. The creature is starting to rapidly decompose in death. Dropkick, this is Mailman 21 Actual, approaching Eastern Passage. Over. I see you. Christ, these doors took a hammer in. Those things must have come through here in force. Whoever manned that weapon took a stand and held them off. Before they got massacred from behind. These creatures aren't dumb. They're predators. Bet your bottom dollar if they came this way before, they could come again. have been to hell. Do to deserve that. Killed by a stake through the heart. <laughs> Pretty sure those creatures didn't do this. Who did? I don't know. Buffy? Who? Maybe you should hold on to that.
never know when you're gonna need a sharpened steak, right? Blowing a hole through the rock face, we found a gateway to a strange world below. A phosphorescence emanated from beneath, casting its eldritch light over us all. Lady Bradshaw was insistent that we descend further. Perhaps Mary is right, and Bradshaw is becoming reckless and uncontrollable. But I can't stop thinking about what's down there. I am now working with Crow and Pullman to set up a winch and elevator to descend into the shaft. What mysteries lie below, I wonder, undisturbed by the world above. What's that? It says they found something weird down here. Yeah, no shit. Looks like he's been drained dry. She gotta be one of those explorers. More crap. What'd you find? Nothing that's gonna get us out of here. Right now, I couldn't give a crap if it was the crown jewels of England. Perfect. This looks like a good choke point. Any of those freaks coming up from below are sure to pass through here. Set some charges? Yeah. Yeah, rig these pillars for maximum coverage. More likely to see the trip wires, though. You think those things can tell a difference? We shouldn't underestimate them. We mine the sides. We're more likely to catch them out. Smaller spread, but the explosives are better hidden. What do you think? Let's go for maximum coverage. Wire up the middle of the corridor. Let's do it. We gotta make each one count. hear your brain taking away. What is it? Should have given her a second warning. Fuck, man. I wish I hadn't asked. I'm through talking about this. Yeah? What's left to say? You know that checkpoint was a prime target for suicide bombers. We had to act in the moment. We had to make a call. It was the wrong call. Why is it that no one ever tells it straight? Everyone just makes a bullshit to get by. That's why we're in the sandbox in the first place, right? I just want the truth, Jason. Shooting that woman messed with my head. You seriously gonna tell me it didn't mess with yours, man? Those demons down there will kill you. But the demons in here will eat you from the inside out. You gotta let it go, man. I'm serious. Ah, so that's you. I'll moved on. Yes, I have. I sure as hell have. Nah, I know you too good. When you lie, you always say things twice. 
First one to see how it floats. Second one to nail it down. Nikki, come on. What I had with Rachel, it put me back together again. Just this morning, I had a future. But even she couldn't tell it straight. Not with Eric, at least. I'm sorry, Nick. I really am. It's armed. Dropkick, this is Mailman 21 Actual. We're at a stairwell leading down into a maze. Please advise, over. Acknowledged. Pull back now and secure the perimeter. Dropkick out. Mount a camera here, and let's head back. Can't be anything good.
hell is that light? The creature has powerful claws and fangs formed from hardened and identifiable tissue. Two of the incisors appear grossly malformed and discolored. Oddly out of place. The membrane surrounding the specimen seems to originate from its mouth. Blood is like nothing I've seen. I will now perform a UV sweep to further inspect the fluids. Check. Is that you? Out. Maybe we can get the radio working and send a signal out. It's worth a shot. A long shot. Oh, we don't even know if there's a working transmitter on the surface. Those wires gotta go somewhere, though. You think they still work? Well, looks to me like they just snagged up. Just as well. Don't feel much like climbing out there. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh my god. We have to hurry. It's not safe here. that you could fight yeah me either what was that thing i don't know whatever it is it's not alone where have you been one of those things got its dirty hands on me dragged me down here left me for dead fuck fuck doesn't even start to cut it i'm lucky to have gotten away you're talking to a scientist there's no such thing as luck you should be thankful i was there to help you I'm really grateful. Thank you. Semper Fi. We gotta find a way out of this hole. So, this is where you've been hiding out? Do you have any weapons? Uh, do you mind? Just need some batteries for this damn light. You could just ask. That ever cross your mind? Looks painful. Yeah. It is. Think you can keep still? Thanks, Quirius. I saw those same symbols in the shepherd's huts. Those people must have been in the valley a long time. <coughs> There's a way up. There's no way we're making it. Look at it. It's barely climbable. We can make it together. How did I know you were going to say that? I met Eric in climbing glass. I can get us out of here. You okay? Yeah, just need a minute. A minute isn't gonna kill us. Until it does. God, you look terrible. Gee, thanks, Rachel. You ever think about going into motivational speaking? Seriously, though, are you okay? That's gotta be about the dumbest question I have ever been asked. <laughs> Give me the silent treatment, huh? What do you want me to say? I don't know. Something to get our minds off this place. Okay. So why did you become a physicist? I mean, you don't... I don't look the type. 
Well, you don't. Oh, should I be wearing nerd clothes? That's not what I meant. You just don't strike me as one. Science was the furthest thing from what everybody thought I'd do. Something just for me. I know a little something about that. You do? It's not easy being queen bitch. You think I got where I am with a soft word and a warm smile? And here's me thinking you Langley types grew up on Easy Street. <laughs> easy Street? I had to graft to get here. You think it bothers me what people call me? I wear that shit like a badge of fucking honor. They have no idea of the shit hill I've climbed just to get to where I am right now. Yeah? And where is that exactly? Looks like another shit hill if I'm truly honest with myself. <laughs> you and I, we're not so different. You know, both doing what needed to be done to get to where we wanted to be. No shame in that. No shame. What did that thing do to you? Please, please don't leave me down here alone. Don't come any closer. What's happening to me? Please stay with me. I can't promise anything. Listen to me. Something is happening to you. What did that thing do to you? There's medication up there. It may help you, but we need to move now. <clears throat> side of the chasm. We'll never make it. <laughs> Don't quit on me now. <laughs> we have to swing over. That rope won't hold. Wait! Do you really believe those medicines will help me? We don't know enough about those things. Come on, Rachel. Don't bullshit me. It doesn't look good. Truth is so overrated. If it happens, if I turn, you have to kill me. Listen to me. Nobody else dies today. <laughs> that's what you believe? Yes, that's what I fucking believe. Maybe it's best I don't. What do you mean? Just do it! I'm not gonna make it. 
Where's the girl that saved me from those things? I know you can do it, Clarice. You just have to have hope. You're screwed enough as it is. If you stay with me, there's no hope for you at all. Sounds like they're having way more fun down there than we are up here. Over. As long as they keep the party to themselves, I'm happy. We got nothing on the cameras inside. Over. Eyes alive. for now if they hit us my best hunch is it'll be from the chasm if you feeling optimistic lieutenant we're facing an enemy we know zero about an enemy of unknown size on their home turf sucks to be us i don't know how long those doors can hold them back radios are best shot Let's fix it up call in the cavalry even shit up a bit there is a transmitter up there. It's gonna have a limited range. One thing Eric did manage to get right about this shit show. He gave us air support. Lord loves a miracle. If we get that signal out, our birds may be close enough to hear. Still means we have to find a way to reach him, of course. One problem at a time.
30th of December. Mary's condition worsens. This evening, I awoke from an exhausted daze to find Lady Bradshaw asking my wife more of her damned questions. Mary was babbling something about winged demons. At this, Bradshaw's eyes lit up and she asked whether Mary could sense them now. Gripped by delirium, my wife lashed out, clawing at Bradshaw's chest. Lady Bradshaw withdrew, and I was, after a while, able to calm my wife. They set up a fake dig site to draw off grave robbers. They knew whatever was down here was pretty special. I'm gonna need a hand to get this up and running. Thing looks like it was sabotaged. How would they do that? We gotta work with what we have. Fall back if anything moves out here. It's safer inside. Thank you. Good job, Sergeant. Things will kill you, Sergeant. Yeah, like smoking is the biggest threat to my life right now. Fuck that evil lighter. What's good? It's nothing. It's just a ghost signal. Even without a transmitter, a radio picks up a faint signal. It's just ghosts, man. So fix that transmitter. If we can establish a signal and contact CENTCOM, then we're one step closer to home. I don't know, man. I'm no technician. If Merwin was here, though, he could fix it. <laughs> no shit. Embrace the suck. Get that 
transmitter working now. I need more time. We're gonna get back inside the temple. I'm staying here. I need you on the cameras in case we get flanked. I got this, Lieutenant. I, I said I got this. Go. Got any sense? They'll stay back. Shit is about to get real in here. Wait, Rachel. Rachel. <sighs> You're alive. Have any doubt, Marie? That's the best you got? Stop it! I know it's him, Rich. I know. You better step off before I start swinging. Colonel or no Colonel. Don't, Nick. I tried waiting, Eric. I really did. I'm sorry. Always loyal. You held on. I didn't. It's good to see you, Rachel. Thought we'd lost you. Who else made it through? It ain't good. Merwin's gone. Those things, 
They got Joey, Clarice. What is it? Clarice was infected. Those things, I don't know how they got inside her. I couldn't take the risk. I had to leave her behind. You telling me Clarice is still out there? That's not Clarice anymore. I saw her changing before my eyes. I believe it. Same thing happened to Joey. You armed? Make sure every shot counts. All right, go back to the main temple. That's all we need. Is this place mined? Not mined enough. Has a time. Come on, come on. There's gotta be something. Wait, yes! Okay, we can make for the catacombs. We need to go down. Count? In case you missed it, that ain't the way out. It's either that or we die where we stand. Everyone move to the east gate!
hear them? Blast must have cut us off. We should keep moving. Hello again. My friend is not happy. Yeah, I can see that. What happened up there? Your friends are a little too jumpy for my liking. It's making me nervous. Lowering your weapon might help alleviate some of the tension. انتي مش في مكان تحدثي Make a move. I fucking dare you. I feel like our uniforms are getting in the way of what could be a beautiful relationship. مش اهبل. Shut up. I say we drill these sorry looking motherfuckers. What do you think, Colonel? Make the call, Colonel. We need their help. They're the enemy, Nikki. I don't trust any one of you. It's them. We must get this door open. Why are you standing there? Help! Don't even think about it. Fuck, Jason! The enemy of our enemy is our friend! Move! Come on, man! Damn it! Help them! I'll cover the corridor! Shit! Move! in the goddamn world.
penasaran ni. Teach you to mess with a Marine. I come in peace. Don't you fucking move. You alone? Anyone else make it? It all happened too fast. I think it's just you and me. Just you and me, huh? Well, that's just fucking great. I don't mean you any harm. I swear. No shit. I'm the one holding the gun. You looking for trouble? Says the American with the gun. Your friend said, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. That is not always true, but if we both want to live, we must fight as one. The sword and the shield. They're too wordy for my liking. But I'm in. For one second, you're trying to cross me. Best believe me. Following second, you're dead.
looks like our best way through. One of us holds up the gate, the other can slip through. Find another way around. I think there's a way through. I just need to clear it from my side. Do it quick. Those things could be anywhere. You got any idea what we're dealing with? They're vampires. Not possible. My father once told me, if something looks like shit and smells like shit, you don't have to taste it to know that it's shit. <laughs> Believe me, they're vampires. We must work together to defeat them. Yeah, it's beginning to look like that. First thing you're gonna do when we get out of here. Hold my son. How about you? What'll you do? I'll probably just go for a drink. p.m. Something unholy has happened. As I sat with my wife, I noticed something in her hand. Lady Bradshaw's brooch. She must have pulled it from her shirt when she grabbed at her. Turning it over, I noticed that it looked like one of the creatures we'd exhumed from the cocoons. Were these the demons Mary had spoken about? Had Bradshaw known all along what we'd find down here? Then Mary's corpse moved. It was not my wife. It was something inhuman. It leapt at me, and only the bars of the cell spared me from its fury. Seem like you got your head screwed on. So I gotta ask, what the hell made you sign up with Saddam? For us, we had no choice.
What is the meaning of those markings on your hand? It's to honor the dead. It's the reason I fight. It's as good a reason as any. It's a damn good reason. The only reason. I have no grievance with you. Maybe you need to switch on the news. <laughs> Listen. There was a man once who built his house on the banks of a river. When the floods came, his wall washed away. When the droughts came, the water dried up and the man was thirsty. All day, the insects bit this man's flesh. Yet each night, he says to his wife, we have all the fish we can eat. Your people chose this war, Jason. I think you need to give your mouth some rest. I say we get the fuck out of here. Looks to me like a medical bay. This should come in handy. If you want to stick 60-year-old explosive in your back, be my guest. Those chemical weapons are close, right? Every time you say something smart, you follow it with something dumb. joke? Nope. 1st of January, 1947. 1 a.m. The saboteur has struck again, sealing us in here. We are hopelessly trapped with those things. All around us, they shriek from the darkness. Crow has set up his machine gun, pointed towards the catacombs. Mary was right. 
We cannot fight that which does not live. There is only one option now. Bring the whole damn temple down on them. Even if it means bringing it down on our own heads. They cannot be allowed out of here. down there those explorers got there first now hold up will you what are you doing you think they're still alive that's hopeful hope is all we got left you can know someone for years and never really know them. I had no idea my captain was married. That the asshole you were with earlier? You didn't make it. Works for me. I'm this bad guy to deal with. A time will come when you'll deeply regret this manner. I don't carry regrets. Is a jack in the box. What do you make of it? It's like nothing I've ever seen. You see that elevator cable? The explorers must have gone down. I don't think they made it back up. That winch still looks functional. No. No? We are not going down there. The archaeologists didn't make it out. What does that tell you? We're not archaeologists? Our world is up there, not down below. Well, there's an army of monsters between us and the world above. They're close. Fired up. You crazy? Those vampires come from anywhere down there. You really want to find them in their own home? What I've been doing since I set foot in this country. Get that elevator working.
An ancient horror has awoken from its slumber and is hungry for blood. Shall we see how many have fallen into shadow? Rachel found her way back to the lights. Well done. All a lie. Although don't get complacent, their lives still hang by a thread. Let's hope nothing unfortunate has befallen Sergeant K. Those taken by the abyss seldom live to tell the tale. As for Jason and Salim, sworn enemies who cannot seem to bury the hatchet, unless that hatchet is buried in a bag. I don't want to seem like an ungracious host, but time is against us. I'll be here to greet your charges as they cross the finishing line, or to bury what remains of them under it. Smells fried. We're in hillbilly territory. What were you expecting? Cantaloupe caviar? Not exactly honeymoon material, is it? <laughs> I recall a certain somebody saying that she wanted to go ice climbing. Ice climbing is relaxing. What is it? The guy who served me, I, I don't know, he was, he was looking at me pretty strange. Yeah, he probably doesn't get to see a woman like you around these parts very often, especially one who showered. <sighs> uh, he was saying some weird shit. Such as? It's nothing, we should go. No, come on, tell me. He said I'll never again be as happy as I am now. What the hell does that mean? You don't believe him, do you? Of course not. You know, my sole objective, Rach, is to make you happy. It doesn't matter where we are or what we're going through, I'll always put a smile on your face. <laughs> See? I told you. Next time, all you have to do is whistle, and I'll come running to defend your honor. Oh. Like my very own loyal puppy dog. Semper Fi. He means always loyal. I'm more than capable of looking out for myself. Now get your feet off my dash, you hillbilly. Nick, I thought I lost you. I thought I'd lost you. Right. Eric.
shit. It's malfunctioning. Colonel, you gotta go! You too, Nick. You're coming with us. Come on, Ray. clear. That was too close. Come on, Marine. Follow me. You think that thing's gone? Looked like it went down that tunnel. He's alive. Jason's alive. Maybe things aren't going so badly after all. I can't do this anymore. It's time. It's gotta be time. Time for what? You know what? We lay the cards on the table. You can't keep playing this, man. Nick, listen. No, 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 you listen. If I get killed down here, I want to know I stood up like a real man, not some chump. Rachel, you you said you tell him when the time was right. I need you to tell him now. Tell him the truth. You don't wear a ring because your marriage ended a year ago. He's right. It is time. Roll it out for us. Now? Right fucking now? Yes, now. We may not have another chance. <sighs> Fine. Eric, you and I, we had something very special. But that was a long time ago. Him? You're choosing him. This isn't about choosing. It's about knowing what's best for me. I want to start a new life. I can give you that. No, you can't. After we split, 
Took me a long time to find hope. Nick is hope. How could you do this to me? You're my wife. We've been apart for a whole year. Things change. I've changed. I'm not the same woman you married. You've been back in my life for one day and look what's happened. Can't you see we're no good for each other? <sighs> no hard feelings. You stay out of my way. <laughs> All means nothing if we die down here. It means something to me. Let's find Kolchak. Some fucked up shit in my life. Nothing comes close to this. They don't seem to be following. Do you like to wait for them or? Don't need to be a smart ass. Just move. Safe way back. What the hell was that? What is that? A cocoon? It looks like those things came from here. It's like from well died. So when did you become a scientist? They don't teach you American science at school. You should stay clear of it. Belongs to Randolph Hodgson. Got some intel that could help. That didn't help him. Ah, shit.
Mary Hudson. She got these white. Her story didn't end so well. Jason. What? I can't end up like this. This was all Lady Bradshaw's doing. She knew all along what was down here. She led us to them. I found her below, hunched over the murdered corpse of Van Hoyten. As she turned to face me, I saw that she had changed. My hand fell to the closest weapon I could find, an iron tent peg. I stabbed her with the metal impaling her in the heart. She died. Unholy screams echoed from deep below, as if answering the sudden release of blood. We are being judged. God is punishing us all for the mistakes we've ever made. Zane is all I have left in this world. After my wife left us, I gave him my all. I wanted him to have everything I didn't. Single parent. It's a fucking gay. It is. But my boy has made me very proud. He's going to London, to university. If only he would stop stealing. Is your conscience clear, Jason? Green zone. Checkpoint. What checkpoint? Nick and I, we were caught in traffic. Checkpoint had been hit before by suicide bombers. There was a woman. She was carrying a bag. Fuck. Tell me. I ordered... I ordered for her to stop, loud and clear, but she didn't. She just kept on walking. I, uh, 
had to make a call. Nick, he shot her dead. What was in the bag? Groceries. I don't understand. Why didn't she stop? She didn't hear me. She had fucking headphones on. Huh. This. This bullshit. I'm not here to honor the dead. The truth is, my life was going nowhere fast. I jumped at the chance to sign up. We all have our reasons. They don't have to be profound. <laughs> profound, huh? No towers were hit. I was stoned out of my fucking skull. I didn't even hear about it till a week later. How's that for profound? I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing here. You're serving your country. That woman had a family, friends. She had her whole life in front of her, and we snuffed it out with a single bullet. I mean, what the fuck? I can hear you thinking. We're waiting for something to happen. Maybe we should take the initiative and make something happen. Would you have mine? We go inside there, and we find a way to hurt them. Those fucking things tried to fuck with our heads. They tried to kill us. But you and I, we're both standing. Start believing, Salim. We're gonna get out of here and see the sun again. Is that what you truly believe? Oorah! What on earth is that sound? It's a marine thing. Oh, so does that make me a marine too? Let's not get ahead of ourselves, huh? Okay. Hey, whatever happens out there, I got your back. We'll stand together. It's the only way. Gotta be where those things come from. I think so. The question is, where the hell are they?
Selene, over here. What do you make of it? This place could have been down here for thousands of years. God didn't make these creatures. No. It's possible we've got this wrong way around. What's that supposed to mean? Maybe we're intruding on them. Stay close. Link, check this out. <laughs> Sounds like music. That don't sound like any music from where I'm from. Okay, maybe not music. Could be uh, a language. You've seen those motherfuckers. They're not exactly the chatty type. We shouldn't underestimate them. At this place. Things are intelligent. This moth is everywhere. Is it just me or is it alive? Goddamn biblical. Shit! Did, did, did you see that? I think he's still alive. Oh, that's impossible. In this place, everything's possible. Oh, shit! The fucker's been alive all this time, just sitting here with half a head. Fluid. Must have preserved his flesh, his brain. What should we do? We can't leave him like this. Well, shit. He's had enough time to get used to it. I'm serious. Oh! The noise will attract the vampires. I'll do it.
believe. Looks like someone's been avoiding the dentist. No fangs. Can you see? The bone is ruptured where they should be, as though smashed from the inside out. What are you saying? Maybe these things weren't originally vampires. Maybe they got infected. Nikki, you turned up like the fucking cavalry. I thought you were dead. Not my time. Girl, you made it. Yeah, crawling through that tunnel was a highly unpleasant experience. <laughs> Good to see you again, ma'am. Take my hand. I'm glad you're here, man. This place.
What is this place? We need a plan. Fuck those things up and get the fuck out. Good plan. Sergeant K, what do we got left? So we got, um, eight clips of 556 FMJ, three 40 mil high X rounds, a couple of nine mil pistols, four clips between them. We'll make that work. Huh. Plus two phosphor rounds. And one block of composition C4. What about the UV lamp? Took a knock, but I can fix it. Just need a minute. All in is not enough. We've also got this. Ah, it's old, unpredictable. We work with what we got. Now, fuses are shot, but we can use the C4 to detonate them. Let's just hope they still back a punch. The vampires come from those cocoons. You saw how many there were in that vault? There could be thousands in there. Should we blow them up? Burn as many of those motherfuckers as we can and head for the surface. What do you think, Sergeant? Ooh, bro. I'm not gonna allow him to carry a pistol. We are way past that point now, ma'am. We stand together as one. Still got that med kit. Now'd be a good time to use it. It's looking pretty late. I can only patch up one person. <laughs> Press back home would have a field day with this. Looks like our explorer friends were here too. We should search this place before we move out. There. Got it. How confident are you that they'll work? They'll work. This thing with you, me, and, uh... Forget it, Nick. I'm just saying... Don't. Keep your head clear of everything but the task ahead. It's the only way we'll live.
Any juicy gossip? It belonged to Mary Hodgson. Of all the topics she wrote about, one thing stood out more than the rest. What's that? She wanted to go home. Mary's not the only one, is she? Over here. I found something. Here, let me help you. It's fine. I've done it before. I've done it many times since. Sorry. Rachel, wait. I'm sorry. You always were better at changing this thing than I was. If you need me, I'm here for you. in it for him. Is it really all about these tablets? But I wouldn't give to see daylight again. Mm. Daylight and a cold one. That whole mess with you and Nick. It's out in the open, right? It's for the best. But regardless of everything else, secrets keep you sick. of this temple are drenched in blood. We have set foot on an uncharted shore and roused something ancient and wicked. A blasphemy that comes in indescribable shapes and forms. For eons we lived as children in this world, unaware of the horrors that slumber beneath our feet. Now we have blindly thrown open the gates to madness. I fear being taken, but I must do what I must. We must seal this place for eternity, for all mankind. Mary, I'm sorry. None of them made it out alive. meaning here it's a language formed from chords musical scales sonics mary was a pianist she deciphered it she thought these carvings represented the stars do you see it's cetus the whale we're a long way from the night sky it's a mystery According to the journal, there was only one scale of sound in the device. But Mary was studying it alone. I think there may be another. I'm going to need your help. What can I do? 
This concept is too big to operate single-handedly. that these creatures were once peaceful. Their language was one of music. How could they not feel emotion? Then a tragedy fell upon them. Their great empire collapsed. Their music fell silent, and they turned on each other. What happened? Sickness? Madness? What turned them from architects into killers? Whatever it is, it twisted them. Now they're creatures of hate. Animals. Dead things. No one left to kill. So they slept. And they waited. They waited for us. Rachel! Rachel? Rachel! 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 Rachel, Rachel. Rachel look at me. She has it. It's inside her. Sorry. They came from the stars. This isn't their home. It's an ark. into one of them. Please, Rachel, you have to hold on. It's killing me. I'll put her out of her misery. Pull her the fuck down. We can still save her. There's got to be a way. We can't lose her. There's no other way. Hold her down. Put you down. It's me, Jason. Please put down the gun. Fuck. 
Sadie. Uh, Why didn't you do it? Because we gotta have hope. Wait, wait, may I suggest something? Fuck, man, just say it. There may be another way. The fluid in the cocoons. Oh, shit, I think I know where you're going with this. What's she talking about? The fluid, it keeps the flesh alive, but it stops the aging. How could you possibly know that? I saw it. A man covered in this fluid, he should have been dead, but he was alive. It kept him alive. If we can get Rachel in there, it could stop this. Are you for real? That's crazy. We don't know anything about it. It could stop her from transforming. The cocoon will keep her safe until we return with help. It's our only hope. Just do it. Anything to stop this. out of her. Well, do it. She's dying. What the... <coughs> oh, that was inside me. I'm gonna kill that fucking thing! Seeing what I'm seeing? Those mounds are made of cocoons. Thousands of them. If we set the charges there, they'll all burn.
We gotta move. Quick. Okay, listen up. We've been hit hard tonight. We lost brothers. But now, it's time to get some payback. We plant charges on as many of those clusters as possible and then detonate them remotely. The second those charges go off, we haul ass to the exit. If luck is on our side, we'll do more than fry a few vampires. We'll create a diversion. If we die here, at least we'll take some of those bastards down with us. Okay. Who's going to place the dynamite? All right, fuck it. I'll do it. You're crazy. We'll do it together. Nah, the more of us down there, the more chances we'll get seen. Take the detonator. If I don't make it... Nick, hear me out. If I don't make it, I want you to blow those charges. Just don't go getting trigger happy on me. Every step of the way, you keep a radio contact. And if there's no radio signal, then I'll pop a flare. You see it go up, you hit that detonator. Be quick and be safe. You hear me, buddy? You'll need this. Hell yeah. Thanks, Colonel. machines. seeing any movement. It's your call.
Commissioner. It's getting kind of hairy down there, brother. Why don't you ditch the rest of those charges and head back? Look at that, man. It's the mud. It's too far. I'm going for it. Too easy. Oh no. Oh no. What is it? There are too many. He's a dead man. Sweet baby Jesus. Wait! What will warning him do now? There is no way out. How's it looking up there? You know he won't make it. Let him finish his work. You won't even feel it when it comes. Clear, Nick. You're all clear. There's that tell again. They're onto me, aren't they? <laughs> Sorry. Like I said, no one's got the boss to tell them the trick. Get the dead man.
Is it Nick? He's alive. Nick, firm your position. I'm 200 meters from the door. Bearing 320. But I'm... I'm injured. I, I need help. God sent. Feels like this whole damn place is coming down. Salim, he's still alive. Salim, come in, man. Are you there? I am surrounded. I'm in the real trouble here. Vampires. So many vampires. What's there to think about? We go back down there. We die with them. He's a dead man. We need to go. That man is not one of us. You're wrong. Salim is one of us now. Marines don't leave their own behind. You hear him, Miss Salim? Tell him yourself. I'm coming to get you. that thing at me. And then...
just wanted a few bats to kill you. <laughs> oh man, that was unfucking believable. Those things were all over us, but me and Selene busted through them like it was the last down of the goddamn Super Bowl. <laughs> Listen up, I'm not out of the woods yet. What I see in front of me, you're the best. Fuck that. Best of the best. And we will get home. Ooh -ah. Ooh -ah. together. Should have let her go. Never should have brought her here. We made it. Soak up those rays, guys. Soak it all up. You stay with me, buddy. <laughs> we got two alive. Very fucking ready to go home, Marines here. Drop kick to Coyote 2. Radio check. Over. It's Rhino 15. Solid copy. We're five minutes from your position. 
Where the hell have you guys been? Over. We got back up again. We beat the enemy. I actually forgot how bright it is out here. <gasps> you think those shepherds are still around here? I can use a cold one. I must return home to my boy. He must be worried about me. No, not again. Right ideas. <clears throat> is this it? Players? Where's the ammo? Mike them. We can hold them off. Knowing you.
The mind is its own place and in itself can make a heaven of hell a hell of heaven. Bravo! It appears your charges have emerged from their hell in one piece, although this ordeal will continue to haunt them for the rest of their lives. I look forward to our next encounter. Perhaps I'll choose a story that's a little more homely next time, somewhere you'd be guaranteed of a decent night's sleep. Rest assured, wherever it is, you'll find it extremely hard to leave. Until the next time. You know the way out. You're late and you look like shit. I just got off the red eye. What's your excuse? Good flight? Oh, shit movie, shit meal, no leg room. They cram me in the back? By the toilets. Nice. Coffee wasn't so bad, though. Good fucking muffins. Did you read the brief? On the flight. How's it going with the analysis team? Four of the ISG units survived. They're being debriefed through here. Shall we? After you. And the entities? Like nothing we've seen before. Cool Jack Jason, First Lieutenant, Marine Force Recon. The best of the best, huh? Or so they advertised. Fuck! Now how many times do I have to keep telling you the same damn story? I understand. However, SETCOM needs to iron out any irregularities. Such as? The whole fucking thing was irregular! Such as why you allied with an enemy combatant? You weren't fucking there! Those things were ripping us to shreds, I don't give a damn who it was! We needed all the help we could get! I stepped back into that hell to save Selene. And that man was worth five of you people. Semper fucking five! So they cooperated with an Iraqi soldier down there? Republican Guard, if you can believe it. Must have made a hell of an impression for Coltec to go back for him. I'm dying to meet this guy. I am not answering any more questions until I see my son! That's not how we do things around here. You don't have a clue. Jason came back for me. What does that tell you? Down there, this damn war of yours was over. I'd like to talk more about the entities. The vampires. I'm finding it very hard to believe that you killed those things with that. Untie me, and I'll show you how I did it. The analysis team are still pulling specimens from the site. It's carnage down there. They used dynamite? We don't know how they got their hands on it. No, 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 I'm done. I told you already. It was a city, a goddamn city full of those things. There were cocoons down there. Fucking thousands of them. How many organisms were still alive down there? Too many. Oh, for all those sake, they're all fucking burdened. This is like Winterfold all over again. Uh-huh. Ah, and here we have Colonel Eric King, our in-house genius. He definitely got more than he bargained for. Everything you know about biology just went up in smoke. These things, they're advanced. They're stronger than us, more intelligent than us. If you want to get ahead of this, you need to start taking me seriously. None of us doubt the severity of the situation, Colonel. A number of people have died. I made it out alive. I'm going to make sure those things stay buried in that hellhole where they belong. Let's move on to Kayla. Well, do you believe me now? This is Miller. He'll be fully debriefing you. Debriefing? You need to get your damn priorities straight. Those things are still down there. What are you doing about them? 
There will be plenty of time to talk things through. Right now, I suggest you count your blessings that you came through the other side. It's nothing short of a miracle that you survived down there. I learned not to rely on anyone but myself. I was stronger than them all. We'll be back shortly. Are you still on for next Sunday? Janet's making hot pot. You bet your ass we're on. I'll never get used to this job. Why would you want to? At least this one was localized. Uh, small blessings. So, what do you make of it all? Doesn't matter what I think. Only thing that matters is controlling the flow of information. As far as the world knows, not a damn thing happened here. <laughs>